powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Russ Riesinger. And I'm Janelle Slade. Tonight, a big thank you to our community for helping together to help those in need. We'll take a look here at the Q2 ICAM. Turkey Tuesday has been a Q2 tradition for more than 20 years now. And tonight, we will wrap up another successful effort to help the Billings Food Bank feed our community this holiday season. And we'll check in on the Turkey Tuesday in just a bit. But first, the Billings School District is staring down a barrel of a $4 million shortfall in its K through eight budget next year. The district has made cuts to the uh, try and shrink that deficit, but school superintendent Greg Upham says there are still more cuts to come. Q2's Mitch Leggy sat down with Upham today to see what's next for the Billings Elementary Schools. Mitch? Well, Russ and Janelle, Upham told me the shortfall came from a few different decisions. One being the construction of two new middle schools, the other being the addition of more staff to keep the district's accreditation with the state. To deal with the deficit, Upham has been working with district leaders to identify areas in the budget to cut. His guidance being no cuts that compromise student safety and cuts that stay away from the classroom. For example, reducing programs instead of completely eliminating them. While these cuts will work for the 2020-2021 school year, they aren't sustainable. But Enrollment numbers in the Billings schools continue to grow, and that could be part of the solution, because 80% of the elementary budget comes from the state based on student enrollment numbers. We need, we need the cost index to come in higher, the support from the state to be higher, and we also need our enrollment to continue to grow. We've kind of been a little bit flat, not, not horribly flat, but a little bit flat if we continue to grow. That will help us um, in conjunction with some of the cuts, but again, um, there, in, in a school budget, there isn't a lot of fat. Nupum said more details about the cuts will be known in the coming weeks. Russ? All right, thank you, Mitch. Well, a woman accused of dropping a gun that then discharged and injured another woman on Saturday appeared in court today and is now facing up to 11 years in prison for the charges. 22-year-old Jasmine Pewitt faces charges of felony criminal endangerment and two misdemeanors related to possession of a concealed weapon. Court documents say that Pewitt told police she was carrying a gun in her pants when she lowered her pants in the bathroom stall. The gun fell and went off. A 24-year-old woman who was in another stall at the time was treated for a gunshot wound to the calf. Police found a 40 caliber shell casing, but the gun was not recovered. Now, Pewitt says she received the gun from another man at the bar, but that, that man claims his handgun was unloaded and in his vehicle. He didn't say whether he gave a gun to Pewitt and requested a lawyer. He's not been charged in connection to the incident. The Madison County Sheriff's Office is investigating a break in at the NS National Fish Hatchery. Now, the incident involved vandalism and the killing of fish. Officials say two individuals were driving a yellow ATV around the fish hatchery sometime on Sunday, October 27th. Employees at the hatchery notified management that someone had vandalized the property and killed multiple fish. The Madison County Sheriff's Office says about 30 fish were killed, some even bludgeoned to death. Very uncommon for us. I've never had a case since I've been here in the last five years that is even related to something similar to this. This is something that is definitely out of the blue for our county. Word gets out in small rural areas like this, so eventually, hopefully, we can figure out what direction to go and help with the pending case. Now, the investigation is ongoing, and the Madison County Sheriff's Office is asking people to report any information they may have about the incident. Well, it is turkey time. That time of year, we kick off holiday giving here at Q2, reminding everyone to give back and help those in need. Our annual Turkey Tuesday once again a success, as community members didn't seem to stop pulling up at the Q2 studios today, dropping off cash donations and turkeys for the Billings Food Bank. And by donating a turkey, you are also entered to win some prizes. Q2 Zoe Zandora outside right now, where we are still collecting those turkeys to tell us how it's been going. Zoe? Russ and Janelle, that's right. There's still 15 minutes to come on down and donate those turkeys and donations. It's been such a wonderful day here at Q2 and on Turkey Tuesday. And, you know, a steady, honestly, pace. It's been a humbling experience to see how many people are donating. And for every turkey and donation you make, you are able to win, put in for a drawing to win Cats and Grizz tickets and also a $100 gift card prize. And that will be drawn and told at the end of the show. So stay tuned and 
don't worry. We have been keeping track, and right now, uh, the Grizz may or may not be a little bit ahead. So if you're a Cats fan, come on down and make your donation to make sure that tally gets on the board. Also, you know, talk about turkeys. Earlier today, the Sons of Norway Viking ship made its way down to the big turkey event donating 21 turkeys. Now, Rob and I were able to hop on board and give them a hand. Just another example of how large or small donations make in a difference in someone's life. And joining me now is Cheryl from the head of the Billings Food Bank. And she was just telling me that during this time of year, they give away 26, about 2,600 meals. And that's, that's a lot. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> you know, what does that say about the, our community this time of year? Well, it says a lot about the need, but it also says more about the response. You know, this is the time of year everybody wants to feel good about. Yeah, and you said you, there's a lot of people that have been helping out with this as well during this time. Oh, exactly. Well, we'd certainly like to thank Channel, Channel 2 <laughs> and, and Lithia Dodge and all of the folks that have been giving online. We can't forget them and the ones that have come down and donated either resources or turkeys or just their time to help us today. Well, just a wonderful cause. And again, it's an overwhelming amount that people have been coming down here and giving their turkeys. And again, to, to know that you guys give so many meals during this time of year, it's, it's a special time. And I know the community appreciates it. We've collected nearly 500 turkeys today, which That's is wonderful. amazing. And again, there's still 15 minutes to come down and make your donation. And happy Turkey Tuesday, and thank you, Billings, for giving back. Back right. to you, Russ and Janelle. All right, thank you, Zoe. Again, we will be collecting those turkeys until 6 o'clock. You can also make a cash donation yes, as well if you don't have time to get a frozen turkey at this point, and that will give you a chance to win some of those great tickets we'll be giving away. Well, there's more news from across our state tonight. Gone fishing. Dozens arrive in Helena fighting for and against additional restrictions on fishing in the Madison River. Join Russ for that story and much more on tonight's MTN Statewide News at 9 on The CW. But first, still to come on tonight's 530 News, a teenager in Detroit has received a double lung transplant due to the damage caused from vaping. We'll have his story. And later in sports, Q2's Athlete of the Week accepts a National Sports Award tomorrow night in California. Scott shares his story. And coming up in weather, we started at one below zero yesterday, but today we've warmed all the way up into the 40s. And guess what? We're going to be seeing some 50s before the end of the week. We'll tell you all about it coming up. You're watching MTN News with Janelle Slade and Russ Riesinger. Storm Tracker Weather with Bob McGuire and Sports with Scott Breen. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader.